Okay, so in the previous chapter, you saw how you can connect to your instance using the external IP address. So you can use either a tool like Putty, or you could use the SSH within your console, or you could use the gcloud command to do it. So in this particular chapter, I'll show you how you can connect your instance with your OS login enabled using a tool like Putty. So let's see how we can do that. So let's click on create instance. And the first thing we'll do is we'll create an instance. Okay, so let's make this as a very simple E2 micro. And let's leave everything as blank. So let's create the instance. So this will have by default an external IP address. So let's click on create. Okay, once you've created your instance, let's have OS login enabled. Let's enable it at the metadata level. So let's go to metadata. And let's add metadata. So you need to add this particular line that is enable OS login and it should be set to true. And I will set this to true. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a public private key. So I'll be using the putigen to do that. So let's create a public private key. So the first thing we'll try is we'll try using our standard metadata to log into this machine and let's see if it works. So I've created a public key. So let's copy this in our SSH keys. I'll copy this. Uh, let's change the name. So I'll just keep this as Rohit. And let's copy this key. And let's go to SSH keys and let's try to add this particular key. So let's delete the existing keys. And let's save this. And the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be saving the private key. And let's say if you are able to log in with our OS login enabled. So let's go to Putty. Let's go to Auth. Let's connect it to the private key. And let's get the IP address of our machine. So this is the IP address. So the name of my user is Rohit and let's click on OK. Click on Yes. And you will get an error like this. Saying that no supported authentication method is available. So the first thing you need to check is whether you have your firewall enabled. Maybe it's because of that. So let's go and check if we have a firewall enabled. So let's go to Let's see what my IP address is. So this is my IP address. Let's copy this. And let's see if that particular IP address is enabled. So you can see that this particular range is there in the firewall. So it's not because of the firewall that I was not able to connect. So the reason is that if you have your OS login enabled, then you cannot connect using your SSH keys. So what you need to do is you need to go to your OS login page. So this particular page I will give in the description below. And what you need to do is you need to add that particular key value that is the private public key to that particular user. Now to do that, you need to run this particular command in gcloud. Unfortunately, you cannot do this in the console. You have to either use gcloud or you need to use the OS login API or the directory API. So let's use the gcloud command to do that. So let's go back to our instance. And the first thing I need to do is let's remove the keys from the metadata. So as you can see, the SSH keys does not work because OS login is enabled. So let's just remove this. Let's copy this before we remove it. So close it and save it. And what we need to do is we need to run this particular command. So let's log into our console. 
So let's run this particular command. So let's copy this. And here instead of key file, I'll just use key and I'll just paste the key directly. So this is again the public key. And here I need to mention the time to live. So this I will just copy this, make this as 30 minutes. So my so this is the expiry of my SSH key. So this I will just make this as 30 minutes. I just enter click on authorize and here you will get all the necessary information that you need so here you get the profile information so here what you need to do is you need to use this particular username to connect to that instance in putty so let's just copy this and let's go back to our putty now and i'll be using the same private key so let's go to our auth again click on browse i'll be using the same private key and now let's go back to our session again so here i will be using this particular username that got created so i'll just copy this i'll paste it here and the ip address would remain the same so let's get the ip address for the phone I'll copy this and let's just paste this and let's click on open. And now you can see that I was able to log in using Putty. So this is how you log into your instance if you have your OS login enabled. Now this is only valid if you're using an external tool like Putty. If you want to directly connect, then you don't need to do all these steps. You can just directly click on SSH and it will work fine. So you can see that this just worked instantly. So that's it for this lecture. I hope this was useful. If you have any doubts, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me. And I will see you in the next chapter.